Why are systems of differential equations interesting? First of all, many applications can be seen as a system of differential equations. As a first example, we will see that this holds for a mass spring system. And secondly, we can convert higher order equations to a system of differential equations. These systems are easier to analyze than the original higher order equations. And thirdly, when solving differential equations numerically, you have to convert them to systems of differential equations in order to use standard solvers in packages. So, enough reasons to look into these systems. But how do we do this conversion? Fortunately, that is easy as you will see in this video. Suppose we have our famous mass spring system. So, mx double plus c times x prime plus k times x equals f, some external forcing. So, what is the idea? We can convert this in a system of differential equations. We set x equal to x1, first new variable, and x prime equals x2, our second new variable. With this definition, with this idea, we get uh, x1 prime, well, x equals x1, so x1 prime equals x prime, and x prime equals x2. So x1 prime equals x2. And furthermore, uh, x2 prime, well, x2 equals x prime, so x2 prime equals x prime prime, and x double equals 1 over m, we can get it from here, uh, f of t minus cx prime minus kx. So x uh, x2 prime equals f of t over m, and then here we have a minus c over m x prime, but x prime equals x2, and minus k over m times x, and x equals x1. So, to summarize, here we have x1 prime equals x2, and here we have the expression for x2 prime, uh, and we can write this into a matrix equation, write x1 prime and x2 prime in a vector, then x1 prime, x2 prime. Here in the first row is the first equation, 0 times uh, x1 plus 1 times x2 plus 0. So first row is a bit silly. And the second row, there we get x2 prime uh, equals minus k over m x1, minus c over m x2, plus some constant term. So now we have seen that we have rewritten our one second order equation into a system of differential equations of the form x prime equals a times x plus h of t, where x prime is a vector containing x1 and x2, a is the matrix over here, containing a bunch of constants, and h of t contains the forcing here, some terms that do not depend on x1 and x2. Let's do a next example, a bit a bigger one. You have fourth derivative minus 3 times u equals 0. So what do we do now? And now we get uh, four uh, variables, x1, x2, x3, and x4. We set u equal to x1, we set u prime equal to x2, u double equal to x3, and u triple equal to x4. So those are, are our four variables. Then x1 prime equals u prime, but u prime equals x2. x2 prime equals u double, but u double equals x3. And x3 prime equals u triple, but u triple equals x4. And then finally, x4 prime equals fourth derivative of u equals, from the differential equation, 3 times u, so equals 3 times x1. So summarize the results here. x1 prime equals x2, x2 prime equals x3, x3 prime equals x4, and x4 prime equals 3 times x1. Or we can write them in the system like this. Or we can write them as uh, in a matrix form where we have a vector x containing x1, 2, 3, and 4. So x prime equals this matrix A, which contains some numbers, most of them 0, times x. So here we have written our fourth order equation in the form x prime equals a times x 